Good afternoon, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the militant state of Michigan. Nice summer day, looking over one of the many parks along the Pier Marquette Highway. I'm sorry, the Pier Marquette River. Uh, just a couple of things today. Uh, first, uh, Mr. Powell, Colin Powell. He hasn't voted Republican, Republican since uh, Bush, so not such a big deal. He voted for Hillary. He voted for Obama. So what? Uh, the next thing is, it's just my job. I was in a store today, and I had to buy an item that required ID. Now, for a lot of people, a ah, little extra, a little extra there for you guys, uh, that requires ID. And now, for some people, their appearance may be in question as to if they're of legal age. Uh, mine certainly isn't. So, and I'm beyond the age of um, being complimented by someone asking for my ID. It's rather more of a, you have to be kidding me. So anyways, when I asked her about the ID and why I needed to show it, it was... Well, it's, uh, I'm just doing my job. I mean, I can either not do it and not get the product. But anyways, I wonder what's going to happen with some of those uh, Minnesota, uh, those Minneapolis police officers that were standing and just securing the scene and they were just doing their job. How do you think that's going to work out for them? They were just doing their job making sure the scene was safe. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, defunding the police. Some of your liberal cities want to do that? Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't care. I just don't care. Uh, but... What you might want to do is take a look at, on YouTube, take a look at the Allison Camerata uh, interview she did. And I believe the individual's last name is Benner or Bender. She is a Minneapolis uh, council person. And Allison Camerata did something that, and she's on CNN. So she did something rather odd for them. She asked her a legitimate question, she, and she made it personal. She asked her about this defunding the police. She asked her, uh, well, what if I called? Not if someone, but what if I called? If someone was breaking into my house, and what if I called the police? Who do I call? If we defund the police, someone's breaking into my house, who do I call? Her answer to that was uh, along the lines of, yes, I, I hear that. I've uh, got that question from a lot of my friends, and my answer to that is uh, she attributes that to white privilege. So there's your answer, people. It's white privilege uh, that's going to see your way through the defunding of the police department so how many how many people are really like i said this time of the year uh this year this time it's about it's absolutely about votes do you really think defunding the police is going to get any votes do you think it's going to take away voters from trump that want to defund the police do you really think moderate Democrats are going to vote for defunding the police? I, 
this Black Lives Matter has absolutely destroyed the Democratic platform, has just killed it. It's to the point now where they're talking about the primary, uh, the front runner for the uh, vice presidential nominee for Biden is Kamala Harris. They don't. They don't need California. They're gonna. That's gonna vote Biden anyways. It, it's totally ruined the Democratic platform. Wait till. See, wait till we see Biden. Is Biden gonna come out and say, "Yeah, defunding the police. That's a really good idea. Tremendous idea." Ain't gonna happen, folks. But go ahead. I'll let them. I don't care. Minneapolis, Baltimore, New York. If you guys wanted to defund the police, just go ahead. So, with that, for now, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha. I hope you enjoyed the scenery, and good day.